Okay. You, you, obviously, you and your first wife, you consummate your relationship. You're intimate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long was it before you guys decided to bring somebody else into the relationship? And how do you even determine something like that? Is it is it a right away thing? Is it okay? We discussed this. We knew this was going to go, and you know, let's start recruiting. Or do you guys spend a few years together and say, "Look, I, you know, I want you for me and only me, and I know eventually we're going to go there." But let's have our little honeymoon. Like, how, how does that work before you introduce a whole other person into the bedroom? Okay. Well, the first person that me and her started uh, dating was a woman she knew. So she had a friend. They weren't sexual or they weren't um, on that level, but the energy was there, I guess. Um, just just two women friends. It was a new friend. And so that was the first one. We just dived right into it. We just How said, long okay, were y'all together before, um, before she brought her in? Uh, maybe six, seven months. Okay. Um, this was a young lady she knew, and it didn't work. You know, um, we never, um, it was never a sexual relationship. Uh, we dated, we just hung out, we talked a lot and, um, uh, that one didn't work. And, and, and for the purpose of clarification, are... what is the difference between mm-hmm. dating? Because I, I hear you keep making a distinction with dating and being in a relationship. What, what, what is the difference to you? Mm-hmm. Well, cause the dating is more like a courting thing. It's like, to me, it's like, uh, we're just hanging out seeing if there's chemistry, seeing if we're like-minded, seeing if when we talk, we kind of, you know, can keep up with each other and feel each other, feel each other out. So that first queen that we dated, it didn't get past that stage. Okay. But I found it to be powerful because um, you know how you're dating a girl, even on a monogamous relationship, and then it's like uh, the person... The relationship doesn't grow because of the other person is basically on some BS, you know. Um, I found it to be powerful that I have my queen with me seeing me date because she can see where, where the relationship goes left or see where I get judged or see where I get, you know, um, you know, uh, wrote off. And so I think when I noticed that, that was another element. I was like, oh, this poly life is really powerful. Because um, it's not just my opinion versus theirs. We have a third party engaged with our relationship. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I mean, you got to point it out. I'm wrong. Or if someone else is wrong, they're wrong. And when I, I noticed that element, I was like, okay, uh, we need to date someone okay, else. So you know, you, you, go, uh, go ahead. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. I want you to interject because there is so much I can say about each subject because this was years before. It took us about three years until the next queen locked in. Okay. And we dated about... You just made it a point to say when you were dating uh, this other young lady, which Mm -hmm. opens up a whole perspective I never thought about. Is it your wife watching you date another woman or is it y'all dating that woman together it's both it's actually three dynamics because it's us dating the woman together it's me dating the woman and it's them dating each other or friendship or you know it's it's them building with each other so there's three elements going okay on. so is and everybody going on end. dates together and then going on dates individually correct really <laughs> correct yeah that's how we did it. <laughs> and, and, and you're doing this very intentionally. I, we we yeah, want to know 100%. if individually we work with this woman. And then we want to know if collectively we all work together. Right. Right. Because whatever's good for me has to be good for the tribe. If it seems good for me, but it's bad for my tribe, it's really wrong. So that's one of the things we stand by as a family. Like if it seems good for one of us, but it's bad for somebody else. It's not the right look. And so, yeah, we were serious and we would date and they had great chemistry and I had great chemistry with her. And uh, I feel like that relationship could have worked to me. I, I believe in like a thing like soulmates in a sense. So to me, even that queen to this day, I feel like she is post, supposed to be with us. 
but the ego, the trauma, um, and even uh, her own promiscuous, the girl was more promiscuous, I would think, I would say her own blockage kind of didn't make her part of this scenario. I think, uh, you know, we got to get out of our own way also for this, any love, any love has to work for any, even a monogamous relationship, we have to be trying to make this work. We have to be doing our best and challenging ourselves. And I think that first queen, she wasn't willing. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.